In this video, I am going to give you a demo of three different ways of working with AWS or in other way, three different ways to interact with AWS resources. This video becomes very important, guys. The reason for that is tomorrow when you work in a real time project, right? There is a big possibility that you will be using first way, second way and a third way for different different purposes. So if you are not aware of all these three ways, you might get lost in how to do what and how multiple people in the projects are doing what. OK, so let's pay attention and try to understand how can we do a simple task using three different ways. OK, first of all, let me try to show you three pictures on my desktop. So here I have my picture. This is pick one. OK, and then I have another picture called pick two and then I have third picture called pick three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload pick one, pick two and pick three in same S3 bucket using three different ways. OK, so let me go to my S3 first of all and let me take a bucket. For example, I have taken my test bucket 21st November. Now what you can see guys, this is called a console or this is called a UI user interface here in this bucket. If I go and click on upload, it will just ask me to you know, take that file or you can drop it also. So I will go here and I will just go on my desktop and I will simply say pick one. OK, and pick one. I'm uploading this like this. At the moment I say upload, you can see the information on the top is uploading. OK, so upload is successful. Now pick one is uploaded in this particular bucket. OK, so I will just close this. And then when you go here, you can see pick one at the bottom that I uploaded just now. Previously, it was not there. OK, so this is first way of working with one of the AWS resource S3 that there can be EC2. There can be other resources as well. But this way of working with AWS resources is known as console way. Most of the time you may not be working in this way. If you are not an administrator, if you are not somebody who is controlling things, then console way you might be using little less. OK, as a programmer, you might be using one of these two ways that that I'm going to explain now. OK, one way is CLI way. CLI is nothing but AWS CLI way of working with AWS resources. So what happens is in your command prompt, you need to install something known as AWS CLI that instance for command that stands for command line interface. And then you simply have to configure your user. So how to do all these things? There is a separate video on unfold data science where it is covered in detail. What you have to do, you have to go to unfold data science. You have to go to playlist and watch a video call AWS CLI tutorial. You see here I'm hovering AWS CLI tutorial in this CLI tutorial. I have explained in detail how you can work with Amazon Web Services using command line interface. What you have to do, you have to configure your user ID and password that is known as access key and secret key. OK, and once you do that, you can simply run AWS commands. So I have done that setting. You can watch this video and do the setting. Once you do that, you simply come here and you can say AWS S3. Suppose I want to upload pick two. So I will simply say pick two. OK, and what is my target? See this command AWS S3 copy what I'm copying from my desktop pick two where I'm copying to my target bucket. Let's run this command. Maybe I have given the wrong pick to PIC pick right is the spelling wrong pick to dot JPG is it JPG or something else let me see here copy as path OK and let me go here try to see user provided part does not exist Yeah, some problem with path itself so I will simply try to paste what I have copied now because I want to put pick to there right pick two dot PNG. OK. That was the problem. So once I give the right path, then you can see the command is running now and it says upload successful moved. OK, so copied. Now if you go here, you will be able to see pick two also. So refresh this bucket. You should be able to see pick two also here. Pick two is uploaded. So what I did now I used CLI way. Remember the differences guys very, very important. OK, console way then CLI way and third and most important way for a programmer is SDK way. SDK means software development kit and in Python there is a very important 
package known as Boto3. If you are in Java or if you are in other programming language, package can be something different. In, in Python, most important package is something known as Boto3, which I used in the SageMaker lab, if you see, if you remember Boto3. So if you go to Unfold Data Science playlist and you watch this build, train and deploy model in SageMaker, you will know I have used Boto3 here, okay? Now, to show you how to upload that pick three using Boto3, let me go to my Visual Studio here. So what I'm doing here, I'm importing the Boto3 library that is Python SDK for working with AWS resources. Then I'm saying let's use Amazon S3 and I'm saying I will use S3 as one of the uh, resource of AWS, okay? Then I'm saying print out my bucket names and then I'm saying take my pick three from my desktop and put it in this bucket, okay? With this key, what should be the key? Pick three dot JPG, which means name of the file, okay? And let me go ahead and run this and you will see one new file will get uploaded there. So by this line, I'm just printing the bucket list. So you can see bucket lists are getting printed and then I'm uploading pick three. So when I go to my S3, I should be able to see a new file pick three. So let me go here and refresh this. So you can see a new file pick three here. So what I did, I did the same thing using three different ways. First way, second way, third way. Please remember console, CLI and SDK. Better to know all these things together. Okay. I'm coming up with more lectures on AWS guide. Stay tuned. If you like, give me a thumbs up. If you want me to create more videos on AWS, I'm happy to do that. Just show me interest through comments. See you all in the next video, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.